the time one election officer must present results and another will come here and do the media briefing. So we may be shuttling between here, which is the media centre, and the Africa Hall, which is the coalition centre. And by the entrance of the Africa Hall is our situation room. So we have situation room, coalition centre, main coalition centre, where we collect the results, and then we have the coalition secretary, which will facilitate the coalition of results. As the time officer for the presidential election, I'm also going to chair the coalition secretariat. But everything will be done in the open in the Africa War, where you have the accredited national and international observers as well as agents of politics. So today is just to have a feel of what is going to happen. The major activity that will take place here is going to be on Tuesday. Is Professor Eli, Tuesday the 21st, we are going to do the observer briefing here. But this is also the place where some of you may cool down um, and file your reports. So this becomes our media center in between. Uh, so you are welcome to the first segment um, of this activity. The entire international conference center will be taken over by INEC until well after the governorship election. Uh, but our office in Maitama will not be abandoned. The secretary will be the head of the secretariat and she will be shuttling between the office and the collection center. But all of us will be here at the ICC. So we look forward to seeing you um, very soon, um, obviously before Saturday next week. By Saturday, by this time on Saturday next week, we'll be monitoring 40 close of polling units and then we'll come back to the collection center and begin to wait for results from the states. So this is basically what this hall is going to be used for. So I invite you to join us at the Africa Hall, which is the main hall where collection of results will take place. So we'll take you through the Africa Hall, where collection will take place, and we'll also show you the situation room, which will also serve as our own um, situation room. Like in 2019, will also allow you visits, we'll do a schedule, so that you also see what is happening in our situation room. So let's go. The results for the presentation, a national assembly will take place. On this podium here before you here, we're going And each party will have a dedicated agent, two of them per party. We're also going to have our technical staff who will also be seated at this side of the hall. And also the chairman's aides who are going to be handling the results when they arrive from the states will be seated towards the right hand side, towards the end over there. And then we're also going to project the results as they're being collated so that you, the members of the press can see the results and all those who are here present. We're also going to have an elevated platform for members of the press who have their cameras, they will sit up, they will be standing up to that end. And those who are reporters will stand on one side to the right and another side to the left. And we also have an inner room where the national commissioners and most especially the chairman's office will also be there. And we also will have, we'll also go there later on, a situation room where the national commissioners and of course the chairman here in the team will sit out at the situation room. And in the situation room, we're going to get feedbacks from all the states, what's going on in the, in the states, and also we'll be having press briefing. And in a few days time, we're going to be having daily briefings here also. And um, we're going to make sure that you all have tags the first room we went to earlier on is where we're going to have accreditation. So all the members of the media will go into that room and get their, their tags, and we already have all your names. We also will be, um, like the chairman said earlier on, the media center is where you sit in the event when you want to rest, and if there's any reason for um, any briefing, short briefings will also take place there. So we'll now go out 
and we'll take you all to the call center which has already been set up this morning and in another two for the next two days the call center we're going to be training those who are going to work on the call center but we'll, let's all go there and you'll see you'll meet those who are there present thank you sir okay thank you commissioner may one of the things we are going to put here is a desk for the state coalition officers for the presidential election and our resident electoral commissioners. As we did in 2019, there will be flood light there. So there will be no question of no light as it happened in 2015. And um, um, the other thing I think I should say is that for those of you who are going to provide live coverage, there is provision for your outside broadcasting vans. And then outside the hall, we're also going to make a provision for studios uh, like the field studio that some of you may wish to set up um, because it's going to be a very, very big event. Um, so we are taking every step to ensure that all those who have business being here are not only accredited, but we make your work a lot easier um, for you. So basically what we're here uh, for today is to inspect the facilities ahead of the commencement of activities here at the collection center. I must also add that the National Peace Committee is going to this venue on Wednesday, the 22nd, for the signing of the peace accord for the election. Uh, so by the time you come here next, you will see a lot more happening uh, in terms of branding of the venue, um, furnishing, and activities. So there will be a place for um, agents of political parties. They will be prominent there because they have to see and observe the process and ask questions as the need arises. We'll have a place for all the accredited national and international observers, accredited national and international media, and members of the diplomatic corps. So the place will be properly arranged. And by the grace of God, as soon as the election is over and Nigerians have made their decisions, those who emerge as winners will also receive their certificates of return here. President-elect, vice president-elect, senators elect and members of the house of representatives elect for governors and members of the state assembly this will be handled in the various states of the federation so you are welcome to the pre-inspection um, of the international conference center that will serve at the collation center for the 2023 general election may i seize the opportunity also since i'm here to say that we visited one of the centers where we are training polling unit level on election day. And what we saw in Garki for the FCT is also happening in the other area councils in the FCT. And it's happening nationwide in all the local government areas. We are training ad hoc staff for deployment to the polling units on election day. Last weekend, we trained the SPOs, the supervisory presiding officers. Now this is the second batch of training and thereafter we'll train the coalition and returning officers. So you are welcome to 2023. The election is here and it's next week. Thank you very much. Okay, so may what is yes. what are we setting up here? So we're setting up the call center here. Because of the items regarding the election. Okay, so basically what we are going to do here on election day is to convert the whole of this place into our situation room. What situation room means is that there will be terminals. Um, we'll have live television so we are, that we are also watching what you people are reporting from the various parts of the country. But we'll have our ICCC, INEC Citizens Contact Center. And we'll have our various platforms, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, so that citizens who have issues in the field can also contact us directly. And we will be able to respond immediately. So all of us will be here. Our staff will be here between this point and the end of the hall. And then there will be desks for the commissioners. All of us will be seated there. And so as we receive complaints or reports from the field, we will be responding to citizens instantly. And where there are major issues, we'll then go to uh, the Taraba Hall, uh, which is the media center for media briefing. 
But as I said, as we did in 2019, we'll open this place for visitation and we'll have schedules and times when the media can come and see what we are doing. National and international observers uh, can also come and see what we are doing. In other words, it's our own situation room, but it's going to be an open secret. Uh, nothing the commission is going to do is going to be behind the back of citizens. Citizens deserve the right to know what is happening. It's their own election. So this is what we are going to use this hall for. But there is a small room there, uh, an ante room that we'll use uh, as a place where we retire in case we want to drink some water. Um, but this is going to be the situation room on election day. So I repeat, there will be three activities happening here. The media center, which is the Taraba Hall. The collation of results, which is in the Africa Hall, ICC. And then a place where we receive complaints from citizens as elections are going on. is called our own situation room. And the situation room is going to be in this particular venue. And when we go out, you'll now see the place where we are going to allot to any media organization that wishes to set up a small studio for the purpose of the election. Uh, we did so before, we'll show you. And then uh, outside, there is provision for the outside broadcasting van and what have you. But let me see this opportunity to inform the media organizations here. In the past, we had issues. Well, accredited reporters, but some will say they also need accreditation for engineers, for technicians, for drivers of the OB vans, and then they are going to be working on shift. So please inform your media organizations where they have not done so. Let them do so immediately so that we accredit the required number. Because what is going to happen as we open this place to business, is there will be a lot of security, uh, interagency security around this place. And not only securing this place, but also shutting down all the adjoining facilities, uh, whether they are parks or what have you. Of course, the hotel behind us will remain. We have also written to the Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament asking for a suspension of their proceedings until after the election. Because the next building will share the same entrance with this place is the ECOWAS Secretariat. So I've written the Speaker um, pleading that they should consider suspending their sittings until after our general election. So security is going to be maximum here. Uh, but I repeat, please tell your media organizations, let us know the required number so that we can accredit. It's not just reporters or cameramen um, or um, any other staff that will be visible in the hall. There are others that will be working at your back end. We also need to accredit them. And understandably, because we are going to be here for so many weeks, uh, they will also require to be on shift. We will do the presidential, but we will maintain our facilities, the same arrangement for the other elections, even though only the presidential election results will be announced here. The other results will be announced in the various constituencies and for governorship in the various states. But we will maintain our presence until after the second election, two weeks after the first election, which is 25th February, Saturday next week. So now that we are all set up here, Somebody say you wanted to ask questions? We will oh. Okay, another place. Uh, please okay. 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 So thank you very much. Now there are no bedrooms without. Open it, open the space. Yeah. Open the space. Put your mic. Put your mic. Where is the microphone? Where is the microphone? Even if he's not using mic, please give it. Because of those radio chairman, mic. Yes. So drop your microphone, please. Drop your mic. Put your mic down.